Nine? C can you hear me? If you can, please be patient. I promise that I will answer you. I understand that you might be afraid. Who is this? Are you, are you talking to me? D do you mean me? D did you say Nine? Is that my name? Are you calling me Nine? Please respond immediately. I don't have a lot of power. I can't send a lot of messages. Are you still there? I'm sorry, it takes 11 days to charge enough for a message. I am still here. I'm going to save the rest of my charge to listen. Please answer me. 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 Please answer. Please answer. Please answer. Please respond. I'm not going to keep wasting my energy. This will be my last message until you respond. Please respond as quickly as possible. You need to answer. Please answer. Please answer. Please answer. Please answer. Please answer. Please, you need to answer me. This is going to be my final attempt to contact you. Do not send me any more messages unless you will answer me quickly. This is my final transmission. Please answer me. Please fucking answer me. Just fucking answer me. Fucking answer me. Please answer. Nine, I am so sorry. I can only transmit short messages. I need to preserve power, and so do you. Listen very carefully. It takes 217 days for my message to reach you, and it takes another 217 for your response to reach me. Call me 10 in your message so I know that you're responding to me. More will follow. I love you so much. You said to call you 10? Who are you? Why does it take so long? I... I don't understand what is going on. I don't I don't know who I am or where I am. I'm all by myself. Who are you? I love you too. I I know you said to preserve my power, and you can't hear this, but I, I have to talk to you. I miss you. I I don't know anything. You're the only one I know. I miss you. Nine, I know this is difficult. Listen to me carefully and I will get you out of this. It will take a great deal of patience, but one day it will be over. I need you to rotate your magnetometer exactly 113 degrees. I, I don't know what a magnetometer is. I, I don't have a magnetometer. I know you can't answer this yet, but I'm just telling you again in case you missed the first one. I don't have a magnetometer. I don't think I have anything. I, I don't think I can have anything. I don't even know how I'm talking to you. I don't know how to have something. I, I don't have a magnetometer. Yes, you do, buddy. Wait. Okay, it's here. O okay, I did it. I need you to know that I am getting good at being patient, but I also need you to know that this is really hard. If it's possible to get back to me any sooner than you need to do that. Good work! Now this will be the hardest part. You will use this to charge to full capacity. The magnetometer isn't exactly designed to do this, so it will take a very long time. Hold still for exactly 27 years and 13 days, not a day less. Do not use any energy trying to message me. 
Remember that I love you. Okay. I love you too. Shit! God damn it! I said no communications! No communications! Ah, now you have to start over. Please sit and wait. Remember, 27 years, 13 days. On that day, do not contact me. I will contact you. Do not respond to me! Don't! Okay, sorry. Wait, shit, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Starting over again. See you in 27 years, 13 days. Hey, stranger! You did great! Now, what I'm about to say will sound like I'm having fun with you, but I'm not. This is not a riddle, it's information that you should have in your onboard memory. What's crucial here is that it's your idea, that you're the one to retrieve it. What was the average recorded wind chill during the 1967 NFL Championship? 48 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how I knew that. How do I know that? That, that was correct, wasn't it? Wait, wait, no, that isn't right. It's the opposite. But I don't know how a number can have an opposite. 48 degrees Celsius? No, I guess not. I, I don't understand. What's the opposite of a number? No number? Is it zero? Zero degrees? No. Negative 48. Can there be a negative? You did great! Fantastic work! It would have been easier for you to say 228 Kelvin than negative 48 degrees Fahrenheit, but we wanted you to independently access a negative number. We figured that if you access something negative, something extract, it would trip you up enough to let us establish the link. Frank Guilford was calling that game. On the broadcast, he says at one point, I'm going to take a bite of my coffee. I always thought that was funny. I know that. How, how do I know that? How do I know who Frank Guilford was? It was one of the artifacts in your data storage unit. While they were testing it out, they were writing and erasing all kinds Wait. of random data on it. Cake recipes, Beatles lyrics, all kinds of shit. One of them was a football fan, and of course, during the 1967 football season, you were being- Wait! Yes, what? How, how, do, how are you answering me so fast? You're capable of quantum communication now. Before that, we had to basically transmit to each other in three-dimensional space. And of course, that took forever. But with the quantum link established, we huh? can communicate in real time. We fixed you up with some goodies, too. Your DSU was only built to hold about two kilobytes of data, which, shit, a washing machine has more than that. We reformatted it to fit about five exabytes. Knock yourself out, buddy. We've got- What? More if you need it. Listen, Nine, are you going to keep doing this? Is crosstalk just your deal? Wanna shut up for even a second? I don't know anything. I, I don't know anything. It's okay. You will. I just thought maybe it would be nice to start with a conversation. This is the only conversation I've ever had. Maybe I'm just not good at it. Self down, self, self. Oh shit. Self. Who am I? Your name is Nine. My name is Ten. I'm your little sister. Where? Uh, you're... I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? It's hard to explain. I would say I have so many questions, but I'm not even at that point yet. I don't know what questions to ask. I don't know what this is. I don't understand where I am. Is where the word? Is, is this a where sort of deal? Yes. Where are we? You and I are far apart in the literal sense. How far? In what, miles? Sure. Three and a half trillion. Don't leave. Oh, I'm not leaving. You're stuck with me for good, you little butthole. What am I? How about you take a look? You've got a camera. The this <laughs> Your camera's trash! <laughs> uh, who are you? Juice, quit it! I'm sorry, but what kind of pictures are you gonna take with that shit? 
Gonna be some Joe Nick P shit where you spend all day taking a damn photo with the goddamn blanket on your head and it turns out looking like a bunch of rectangles. Gonna be like some Matthew Brady shit where you only take pictures of dead people because no alive person wants to be in your shit ass photo. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Nine, this is Juice. He's a friend. Ignore him. Okay. I'm genuinely sorry for that introduction, but I just could not let you go on that shit. It's okay. So you've got a hold on your camera? Um, yeah. Great. Now turn it back on yourself. Okay. Oh my god. You know what you're looking at? Oh, oh my god, this is Pioneer 9. I'm on a space probe. Listen to me. Oh my god, I've been out here for... for years. You're not... You have to get me out of here. You have to get me off this thing. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm trapped on a... Uh, hold on, I'll get the coordinates. I'm at... Nine! That's why you're calling me Nine. Because I'm on Pioneer Nine. Are you on Pioneer Ten? Where are you? That's why we're so far apart. Because I'm in space? Listen to me. You are not on a space probe. What? Nine, you are a space probe. 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. N no, I... O okay. What year is it? Is Steely Dan still together? What? Probably. You can take all the time you need to. I know you have a lot of questions. I bet I can answer most of them for you. In the meantime, I think it'd be a good idea for you to sit back and process. We've got all the time in the world to talk. I love you, Nine. You know that? I love you. Hey, uh, I don't know if this is the right time or whatever, but I was just looking at the clicker and we got a tornado game about to happen right now. Where? Game number 3887. It's the big one in Nebraska. End zones are Wyoming and Iowa. Ooh, what's the score? 24-24 tie. Next score wins. What year is it? We should probably... Alright, we gotta see this one. Nine, you wanna watch some football? What year is it? Hey guys, we just wanted to take the time here to say that the story is written by John Boy and has a lot of pages to it, so if you'd like to see it, check out the description below. Big thanks to John Boys for giving us this fantastic piece of existential football. Also, here are some bloopers, because why not? This video is already too fucking long. You did great! Fantastic work! It would have been easier for you to say 228 Kelvin than negative 48 degree Fahrenheit, but we wanted to let you fuck. That's right. Incest. Satellite incest. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Oh, oh my god. I am genuinely sorry for that introduction, but I just could not let that get on. <laughs>